and gentlemen, welcome to the bandwagon once again with Darren and I. Got the old buddy with us now, this week. And we got Newfie Newt and Bird John. So what anyway to better to start off with Newfie Newt and a bit of carry John? Is that right? All right. I'm to start off with gold to the oil. Woman get wrong. Ross with us now, young Newfoundlander. Ross is going to do a little, uh, little verse for us. Sacky was a wee little man, and a wee little man was he. He climbed up to that sycamore tree. Lordy, what did you see? And you come near now, Sacky, yes. Cause I'm coming to your house for tea. So we got Glenn with us now, and Glenn is going to do uh, the Moose on Bore Oil. Come on, ye friendly people, and listen to my song. I'll try and sing it to you, and it won't delay me long. I know I'll make a few mistakes, but my mistakes we learn. But what I'm trying to tell you, there's a Moose on Bore Island. Bye. 
to the moose again, I'm sure I told no lies. The moose was getting fat now, and I'm sure he's fit to kill. But whether anyone gets him, it's more than I can tell. I would not like to hurt the moose, and I don't break the law. But whether I guess anyone gets him later on in the fall. When the moose season gets open and the license gets around, sure as hell is going to be killed out here on Port Island. So we got Gerald with us now, Gerald Anderson. Gerald will do a song called The Last of the Marion. Birchport and Marion Lake Prepared for the banks as was custom to do All loaded with capemen for bait The wind from the northwest a fine summer breeze As I Jones from St. Jack's he stared From the boys and the folks all made plans for that night They'd all go ashore in St. Pierre Somewhere on easy there'd be trouble, they said, for Ike Jones was noted to fight. At the Cafe de France on the last trip he made, a Frenchman had tricked his life. The chip. The challenge to fight was issued that night, while the cheap French liquor ran free. The French captain then warned the Marion's men he would answer their challenge at sea. Next day the Marion set sail again and so to the story relay. The French beam trawler at anchor as well and followed close by in her waves. She the Fortune Bay schooner heading up for the banks with fine hearty Fortune Bay men. But some on the Cape were rumored to say she'd never be heard from again. The fate that we felt, the Marion's crew and their schooner will never be known. Not a trace or no tidings were ever again to be heard by those waiting at home. Some say the Frenchman was true to his word. Some say he confessed for he died. That he scuttled the Marion and settled the debt, not taking one man or the side. Families of Skinners and Billards and Miles grieve for their loved ones on shore. And the Newfoundland story of lost to the sea was told as so often before. She's a Fortune Bay schooner sailing up from St. Jack's with a fine crew of Fortune Bay men. But never no more will she pass by the light with her jib flapping into the wind. No, never no more will she pass by the light with her jib flapping into the wind. So we got Max coming with us now, and Max is going to do a song called My New Flannel. I put it on a lot now before I go with it. There's an island in the blue Atlantic Ocean, lying southwards from the coast of Labrador. And it brings back many memories since I wandered far away from my new by and I'm so lonely as I think of the good life I once had I can still see the old fishing village where I live with my mama and dad on my 
my Newfoundland home, how I love you. There's no place on earth I'd rather be in that island in the blue Atlantic Ocean. Newfoundland, you are riven to me. Oh, the sweet smell of seaweed from the ocean and the cry of the seagulls as they roam. How I love to hear the sound of that old foghorn as it calls the fishing boats back home. On that island in the blue Atlantic Ocean, so proud as she stands there all alone, and her people are happy to live there. That is why I'm heading for home. Oh, my Newfoundland home, how I love you. There's no place on earth I'd rather be in that island in the blue Atlantic Ocean. Newfoundland, you are riven to me. Oh, my Newfoundland home, how I love you. There's no place on earth I'd rather be in that island in the blue Atlantic Ocean. Newfoundland, you are riven to me. Newfoundland, you are heaven to me. So we got Jocelyn with us now. Jocelyn Anderson, she's gonna do the baloney sign. We don't want new land steaks. Can't have a new land show, let's get a bit of baloney in it. Hey, bye. Now, this is all about the, this is all about the fellow who had to have a dream, is who gonna eat the baloney? I'll tell him just now, I think. The bubble was sleeping early, the wind of baloney for sure. Eh? We had to dream we had the other night. <laughs> Time to do the baloney sign. Two Irish men in New Fee went to work for recreation. They carried enough provisions to last a week's vacation. But they got lost up in the woods. The night was dark and lonely. And all of their provisions ran out except one piece of baloney. One guy said, I must admit there is no use in carving. There's not enough provisions left to keep us all from starving. I suggest we go to bed tomorrow, said Maloney. Whoever has a nice dream eats the piece of baloney. Next morning when they all awoke, it was quarter after seven. One guy said, I had a dream. said I had a dream it was a double feature I also died and went to heaven was welcomed by St. Peter he rushed at me stuck out his hand saying put it there Maloney now I don't think you can beat that dream so give me a piece of baloney the new feet said I must admit it's true that you were dreaming the reason why I know it's true I'm dreaming
there, Joe. We got uh, Ron back with us now. And I think it's called what? The, the Ramy Oil and Jig, huh? Yeah. Okay, we'll call it that anyway. with us now. Kathy going to sing the Ramy song. So, oh, River Boots, because we got to go around the Ramy, go and clean the swamp, we all there. <laughs> I would like to dedicate this song to my father and to all the puffins coming home this year for Come Home Year. Well, it's pretty gold, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Austin was now and he's gonna do a song called George and Pauline. This song I've been singing, I'll now sing to you. It's about Sable Island, so sad but so true. We were on our way to the sword fishing grounds, but the weather was bad, so we swung her around. Out in the distance, this land could be seen. Big banks of sand and the grass was so green. It was Sable Island, of that we were sure. So we lost the dory and we all went ashore. And when we had landed, two men went each way. Some searching for tires, which later they say. And picking up shells, clear to be seen. While out on our anchor lay the George and Pauline. The ponies were plenty, but most have died off. From many yard winters and blizzards and frost. The 
night keeper told us the winter so fierce The worst he has seen there in many long years Louis got an anvil and Frank got a tire Sherman got copper and Britain got wire Oh, this is the nicest spot I've ever seen Around Sable Island on the Georgian Pauline Then Brennan came running with shovel in hand Saying, look what I found lying there in the sand But Raymond was busy making the beans Back in the galley of the Georgian Pauline My song is now ending, there's no more to tell Season is over, we all have done well Left Sable Island once more to steam On our way home on to Georgia Ball On our way home on to Georgia Ball So we got Biddy Anderson with us now Biddy gonna do a song when I was single when I was single, I wore a black shawl. Now that I'm married, I have nothing at all. Oh, but still, I love him. I'll forgive him. I'll go with him wherever he goes. He bought me a hanky of red, white, and blue. But before I could wear it, Young, but now Henry will do a song called Mother and Home. Mother and home. 
<laughs> Here you get now, now. I'm gonna do a few requests now. We got the uh, happy anniversary going out to Mr. and Mrs. Chant, who celebrated their 61st wedding anniversary on March 23rd. That's from two daughters, Dulcie and Joyce, and son George. And we got birthday greetings to Brenda Warren, celebrating her birthday March 29th. That's from her husband Wilson and two sons, Robbie and Jason. And Corbin Skinner celebrated his birthday on March the 2nd from mom, dad, three brothers, two sisters, and godmother, Harriet Strutland. And we got birthday greetings to Eric Bellard, who celebrated his birthday March 26th, and that's from his grandson, Ross. And we got greetings to Reginald McDonald, who celebrated his 70th birthday on March 21st from Bernice, Cecil, three grandchildren, Jeffrey, Jeff, Ridge, and Denise, and also from Brenda, Freeman, and Danny, and wife Mary, and two daughters, Cora and Lisa. And we got birthday greetings to Maxine Dix, who will be 20 years old on April the 8th, and that's a greeting from George. And we got an anniversary greetings to Murdoch and Pearl Knight, who celebrated their anniversary on the 5th of April. Greetings from Cindy and Derek. And we have birthday greetings to Pearl Benite, who celebrated her birthday on April 6th. Greetings from Murr and Cindy and Derek. And we have birthday greetings to Joanne Warren, who celebrated her birthday on March 23rd. Greetings from friend Cindy. And we have birthday greetings to Jeffrey Ann, who celebrated his birthday on March 25th. And that's greeting from Ross Ann. Happy birthday to you and happy anniversary to the rest of us. So we got Ron Old Dumper, but now Ron will do a song called Om Toys. Now Ross Ann and Ross is going to sing happy birthday to his grandfather. Happy birthday to you, Bobby. Happy birthday to you, Pop. Birthday to you, Poppy. Happy birthday to you, Pop. Okay. So we got Glenn with us again now, and Glenn is going to do a sign called the Black Sheep. I think that was the same sheep he killed the egg cat from. Hey, <laughs> In a little country village not very far away, there lived a rich but hage man whose hair was turning gray. He had three sons, three holy ones, both Jack and Tom were sly, but it was honest as to be, he would 
would not tell a lie. The brothers tried to ruin Ted before the whole man's eyes. At last the clock began its work till Ted was much despised. Then the father said, be gone, your heart lives to the core. And then the black sheets were as it came just ringing through the door. Don't be angry with me, Dad. Don't drive me from your door. I know that I've been wayward, but I won't be anymore. Just give me one more chance and put me to the task. You'll find the black sheep loves his dad far better than the rest. Year by year, speak quickly by the father now grown old. Jack and Tom and gave them all his gold. I only need a little room, a place at your fireside. One night on Jack returning home to came with him a bride. The three began to hate the father more and more each day. At last he heard a three declare while the old fool in our way. They then agreed to send him to a poor house that was near, and like a flash the black sheep's words came ringing in his ear. A wagon drives up to the door, it is the poor house van. The brothers pointing to their dead, right there is your man. Then a manly form appeared, came rushing Stop this, you brutes, the lad replied, I shall not be allowed. You've took the old man's property and all that he could save. You even sold a little lot containing mother's grave. I am his son, but not your kin from now till judgment day. The father clasped the black sheep's hand, and they all heard him say, Don't be angry with me, son. I know I drove you from my door. I know that I've been a foolish lad. I repeated whore and whore. I should have given you my gold, for you have to the task. You found the black sheep loves his dead far better Black sheep loves his dead far better than the rest. So we got Jocelyn with us again now, and Jocelyn's gonna do a sign called Dogberry Wayne. Late in the night, out under the moon, there 
cackling and dancing to a lonely tune. You may think I'm lying and putting you all on when you think when you hear what I've written in the lines of this song. There's not gonna be some Sam out of my mind from a lifetime of drinking that dark berry wine. Dark berry wine, dark berry wine. Lord, how I love that old dark berry wine. When I'm feeling lonely and down in my mind, I drink me a bottle of dark berry wine. So we got Max Compton back with us and again. Now Max is going to do a song called Mother. The loveliest words that you've ever heard Is a wonderful person with gray in her hair As she sits there rocking in her twilight years I think of the time when I caused her such tears As a small kid I did things that most of us do But to her I was alright, I was her boy in blue And when I came crying Dear mother was there and she kissed things all right And when I grew older she sat home alone Waiting and watching and hoping a phone But me in my hurry I didn't have time To think of the darling that mother of mine All the loveliest words that you've ever heard a wonderful person with gray in her hair As she sits there rocking in her twilight years I think of the time when I caused her such tears Even though when I heard her the hurt wouldn't show She'd go off alone, but I didn't know She was going to cry out her tears of delight Cause now I was home and her boy Dressed all so fine, she stood beside father with arms open twine. But for some reason, in her eyes, a blue came the tears of her losing her little boy blue. All the loveliest words that you've ever heard is a wonderful person with gray in her hair. As she sits there rocking in her twilight years, I think of time when I caused her such tears. I think of the time when I caused her such tears. So we got Gerald with us now. Gerald will do, a, do the rubber boot sign. Big part of the new plan, anyway, rubber boot sign. I'm a hardy old sailor from New Berlin Shore. I fish for me heaven on a wild Labrador. Now me fishing's all over, me work is all done, and I'm going out tonight with me rubber boots on. Well, I ate up me supper and I shaved up me beard. For courting, indeed, I was highly prepared. But the day's work all over, and the night coming on. I knocked on her door and me knocking was low And out of her slumber she didn't know She came to the door and said, is that you, Tom? It is love, says I, with me rubber boots on She opened the door and invited me in And up to her bedroom she invited me in Jumped on the bed with the blankets rolled on And I hopped in beside her with me rubber boots on It was daylight next morning with the sun in the sky I turned to me true love to say goodbye She said don't 
don't you leave me, don't you know you done wrong when you slip here all night? I turn to me love with a wink and a smile I said nothing could happen in such a short while But now I'm back fishing, I'm happy for sure. I'll make them ten shillings on the wild Labrador. And when he gets bigger, it'll take long the sun, and he'll catch the codfish with his rubber boots on. Yeah, he'll catch the codfish with his rubber boots on. So we got Biddy with us now. Biddy's gonna sing uh, the bird in her story. I've been a bartender for now 20 years. I love the life I'm living, serving whiskey and beer. I've seen a lot of losers sitting in this place with looks of desperation written on their face. That guy. Eugene back with it. Now Eugene's gonna sing the many told him. Yeah. Here we are, we got last night and she's gonna mean go. Sydney that morning was small so thick 
we got Kathy with us now. Is she gonna do a song called Derek and Stormy Night? Again, now I'm going to do a song called The Bird in Her Sweeter. Our marriage was happy, I was never alone, except for the night when my wife was at home. She was religious, so humble and meek. She attended her church about twice a week. One night when she left,
I'm sorry, bartender, I don't think you should mind. Cause with your darling, I'm entitled to dine. But you can go on loving her the rest of your life. Cause after tonight, she's no longer my wife. So we got Max back with us again. Now Max is going to sing the budget sign.
put me in the pine box, I holler like a butter, and then they buried me underground for looking like my brother. So we got Kathy and Vinnie with us now, and they're going to do a song called I Married a Newfie. Ah. Well, the night was late, I was all alone in the city of T.O. When I stopped inside a little bar, a place I often go. I ordered up a rum and coke, I was reaching for the fee. When a little hand laid a dollar down, saying, sir, the drink's on me. Well, I turned around, saw her Colgate smile, she was too sweet to be true. Her hair was like the sunset, and her eyes were all so blue. Her pretty clothes, her freckled nose, it was beauty, wild and free. And my eyes rolled round when I heard her say, sir, will you marry me? She had no for an hour or so, and then I heard her say, my daddy, he's an oil man in the good old USA. You'll be so proud, you'll be a son, and share in the Texan gold. You have nothing to do, only sit at home, watch the big and whistle show. Oh, the church is turned near empty, and when I signed away my life, the parson sweetly smiled and said, I pronounce you man and wife. As I walked the aisles, my face was smiles, and I held on to her hand, and I almost cried when she said I lied, I came from Newfoundland. Well, the very next day we were on our way to the island in the sea Into an unknown future, not knowing what my life would be In Port of Bass, it was there I asked, how will I earn my bread? She said it's fish and welfare, the way my daddy did Well, the bus had stopped and out we got, her dad was standing there His rubbers pulled up over his knees, spitting back in the air it was twice as dark as a miller's cave, and I was almost scared to death. He said, it's not Toronto, boys, we have no electricity yet. Now I'm tucked away, and I'm here to stay, but there's one thing that I know. I'll never more see my western home or the pig and whistle show. If you ever come to Newfoundland, come see me in my camp. I'll be in the bed reading comic books by the light of the kerosene lamp. I'll be in the bed reading comic books by the light of the kerosene lamp. Oh, yeah. oh, I guess all good things must come to an end. So we're going to end our very show for tonight. And I got another pair of earrings this time. Can <laughs> you like Clive Jones on the story? You wear all them fancy earrings? <laughs> I don't got a pair of fancy this here. What do you think, buddy? I think it's really going to blow away. I got four chances, I'm sure. Go over to the wind after the night with. So I put up two anchors. <laughs> Comes in the air, now I'm going to put up four anchors. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to end her off. Hope you enjoyed our show again. End her off with a song called Go Watch some Jane. Good to you, everybody. End it, bye. Yes, sir. Nothing to ease my poor heart.